Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to try to explain how to how you can draw one of these flex hinge hinges. Basically, it's made up of three lines. There's two medium lines, a really or a longer line, and with two short lines, just repetitive over and over and alternating. And you could, you know, it's, there's there's a medium line. You could put it there, and then you could move over the 1.5. And that's not how I did it the first time. And I'm glad I didn't because that would have taken a lot of time. It could be done. But anyway, I took a two-point line and it snapped right to my model or my rectangle. Now I'm going to move it over 0.51. So control D and move it over. Control D. Till it gets to the other side and I actually want one on that line so I'm there. Now I've already drawn these out and they're equally distance apart and they're the distance between the joints. This from there to there is 0 0.06. These boxes are 0 0.06. I've already uh, grouped them together. So I hit P on the keyboard and there's my basically a jig to cut things away. And I'm going to cut away every other one. So I'm going to cut away that one, that one. And I'm not going to do this whole thing to save you time. But this is pretty cool and I think the easiest way to do it. And you don't want to, you want to be alternating. And then on this one, you want to cut this one. I guess I end up and, and, and I'm going to end up doing all of them. So start on this end and cut this one away. And you could do this to any size uh, hinge you need. And that's what's so good about making your own. Now you can actually move these out of the way. And there's our hinge joint already, except for we're two. We've got them all at the top. So now we need to change it to 0 0.06 and move our rectangle down 0 0.06. And now we're going to delete every other one. And I would suggest deleting the longer ones, leaving the shorter ones alone. And then just move it back. And there's your hinge and then do the exact same thing on the other end. And I would also um, cut the longer ones on this case too, just like I did on the top. Then these are going to cut through, but they, you really, in the, you know, a couple of times before I left this a little bit narrow, it's going to break and you want it, it's going to break anyway. Uh, that's part of the flex point. So that should work. And then just remove your uh, rectangle out of the picture. And there's your flex joint. And you can, you know, make it, since it's two inches, and you don't want to use that rectangle because I've cut some of it off. So uh, get you a rectangle and make it, I'd make it that size two inches, then put it in the center of the page. I guess I didn't make it two inches. Center of the page, and then you can make your box wherever you need the joint to be. And this is a good distance for cutting, you know, enough flex to cut a 45 degree angle. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.